Hey y'all, it's Erin. And today we're gonna be talking about drugstore and high-end makeup. So I have a couple products here that it's a must-have. You need it in your routine. If you don't have it, then that's the reason why your routine is not routine, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. I'm sorry, this is the Power Grip Primer. This is very like, everybody compares this to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and this is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. They are dupes. This one is stickier. Um, I do recommend it. It is a really good, like if you don't wanna start off with the Hydro Grip Primer for Milk because it's a little too expensive, this is a good, um, product and I highly recommend. You can get it from Target. It is a bit stickier. The only thing I would recommend if you get this product is because of how sticky it is, if you want to like, okay, so for me, I need to have more makeup on. I feel like you need more to be wearing a few layers of makeup, not even a few layers. Like, I don't know if you're gonna do a simple one, two, a little bit of concealer here and there, I wouldn't recommend this because it's gonna, or for me, it's going to, it, it kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Like it makes my makeup separate or crease or you can see my smile lines. I used it today. Um, a tip that I do have is going in with a finishing powder after using this product. And like right after putting this on, go in with a little bit of finishing powder and then apply like the rest of your base makeup and that will help it to not crease and things like that. But besides that, this is fine. When it comes to drugstore makeup, another product that I recommend is this LA Girl Pro Conceal. I am in the shade Coffee. This one is slightly lighter than my skin tone. And I do, I, this is the one I always use. I usually cut my brows with this, but I've been using a different concealer lately. I definitely recommend this. It, just, it gets the job done. And another thing about LA Girl, they actually have color correctors so that you can go in and color correct also. And they're only $5. They used to be way cheaper. They used to be like two, three dollars, but you know, inflation or whatever. It is a good thickness if you like that about concealer. Cause I used to be like, oh, the thicker the concealer, the more it covers up. And I'm not gonna lie. I haven't really changed my mind when it comes to that mentality because I really do feel like if the concealer is thicker, then that means it's doing a better job of covering up what I need to cover up. And a little bit of this goes a long way. Another good product that I recommend for the girls that are trying to get into blush is this e.l.f. Putty Primer, or sorry, the Putty Blush. It's really good. The only thing is I didn't like this color that I got. It's more of like a um, reddish, wine, purple. It's almost like a red, but kind of purple to me. Another thing about this blush is I was a little confused about how to apply it at first. But I've been going in with a brush because I was I was applying it with my fingers. But applying it with my fingers, it was kind of making it like I was scooping it like putty. Like it was it's a putty, but it was kind of stretching me out. Like I just felt like I couldn't apply it. But this you can get at Target also. It's a really good price. I believe it was like five dollars, maybe like seven dollars. I don't even know. But it does have good color. The color payoff is really nice. I just didn't like this color that I got. So I haven't used it. Like I used it once and after that I haven't I haven't used another one. But I'm gonna get another one in like a pinkish shade or like orange. I'm really liking orange lately, so I'm gonna go for orange if they have one. But I do like the consistency of this blush. And if you kind of struggle with liquid blush, this would be good for you because this is like almost like an in-between. It's not quite liquid, but it is more powdery, but it's also like kind of not powdery. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if it counts as high-end makeup or if it counts as drugstore, but I put it in the drugstore category because it's really not expensive at all. This Juvia's Place blush, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. This blush is so pigmented. It, you can compare it to the Rare Beauty blushes. A little goes a long way. This was even too much. Like I would not put all of this blush on my face. It spreads out like a dream. The color payoff is there. Look how bright it is on my skin tone. This blush is really good. I, I haven't actually, I'm saying I compare it to the Rare Beauty ones, but I haven't tried the Rare Beauty ones, like if I'm being honest. But from what I see online, these have been really good. Like, I feel like this gets the job done. And I wanna say it was only like $12. This is in the color Peach Rose. Another drugstore makeup product that I recommend is the e.l.f. HD finishing powder. People do not talk about this powder enough. 
This is a finishing powder. So this is something that you put on after your makeup, but I like to use it before my makeup. I do feel like this kind of does leave a white cast if you use too much. Um, what I like to do is go in with my, pow my powder puff right after I put my primer on and go around my smile lines. I did not do that today. So you can probably see my smile lines. They're really prominent to them. But this is a product that I like to use for that reason. It, and I feel like people don't talk about this enough. It doesn't leave like flashback when you do like the flash test and everything, but it does leave like a slightly white cast if you go in with too much. I don't know. At first I didn't like this product, but it kind of grew on me. Is this Morphe 2 concealer? This is in the shade Pika Sienna. I didn't like it at first because I felt like it wasn't it didn't have enough coverage but then i realized this is a concealer that i need to use when i'm only doing like one to let me get up i'm running late but i want to put on a little bit of makeup type of look this is what this concealer is for it also helps me you let it dry down a little before going in i'm so used to use it is thinner than the other concealers that i'm i talk about in my other videos or like this la girl concealer that i just talked about so that was one thing i had to get used to people i know people let their concealer sit before going in with their brushes or sponges or whatever i usually apply my concealer and i go right in with the brushes with my brush and it's fine this one i do like to let it sit for a little bit if i can but if i'm just trying to cover up a little quick pimple or you know spot conceal and i need to go in real quickly this is a good one now again i don't know if it really counts as drugstore but another thing you must have is these blush palettes from juvia's place i want to say they're like 15 or 18 dollars i forgot how much i have the volume 2 palette and the volume 4 palette this is the volume 2 palette i think i showed it in my last video that i did doing my makeup and this is like an orange shade and I think it looks really cute on my skin tone. I did wear it today. I do feel like I should have got like a darker um, shade almost, but I can't remember if they had a brighter orange or I think when these first came out, I was so eager to get one that I just picked this shade up. But I think it does show and especially in different lighting, I noticed one day I put too much of this on and I was looking really red and orange. So it's very subtle this shade specifically but it's really cute at the same time and i'm telling you like i'm a pink girl i said it in one of my other videos but i've definitely been stepping into my orange girl era i feel like it's just not too much blush like now the good thing about juvia's place is how i just showed you the liquid blush these i believe they also have like a whole range of shades that like an orange soap, for example, or orangish blush to go with this specific palette. I do believe they have a range of blushes, so if you want to layer on products, you can do that. The other palette that I got, again, because I said I'm a pink girl, is the Volume 4 palette. I think this is the palette that went viral that everybody was trying to get. The payoff in this palette is amazing. This pink really does show. I think people were comparing it to the Dior blush, the hot pink right here, or was it the lighter pink? I don't know but I've been using this all up and I've been using this like on a daily basis this is the one I've been using on a daily basis not so much this volume 2 palette that I have I just recently started using the volume 2 palette again this is the one I use all the time and I have not hit pan on this it lasts a long time I'm gonna talk about this concealer now we're getting into the high-end makeup and I'm gonna talk about this concealer until the day I die I love NARS I feel like everybody loves NARS and this is a thicker type of concealer. And another thing, I always recommend getting the pods when it comes to the NARS concealer. If you're gonna go like super, super light, like just for the corner of your eyes, I would get a tube concealer for like $14 cause I do have a tube concealer in a lighter shade, but I only use it in the corner of my eyes. I love the consistency of this concealer and a really thin layer really does cover up everything that you need to, all the puffiness or darkness in your eyes or the redness, everything. Another thing you can do though to help if that's something you struggle with is color correcting. This was the first concealer that my mom had and I kind of stole it from her and yeah. And actually she was just the exact shade on my day. I remember it like it was yesterday. People didn't even realize I had on makeup. I wasn't really supposed to be wearing makeup, but I was wearing makeup. It's a reason why this concealer is so expensive. Unfortunately, 
Another product that I've been loving lately when it comes to high-end makeup is this Makeup by Mario foundation. I talked about it in my last video because this foundation, first of all, this is my perfect shade. 22C is the perfect shade. Any foundation that you get is going to oxidize. It's so lightweight, but at the same time, it's really good at covering everything up. Like It's just full coverage, but at the same time, it feels like nothing's on your face. I haven't tried the concealer yet. Everybody was saying it was creasing, but then I just watched Aaliyah's video um, and she said it didn't crease for her and she loves it. And I think they also say that the concealer is supposed to be like self-setting or something like that. Like you don't have to use a powder. So that probably might be my next purchase. Another thing I talked about in my last video was the fact that when it comes to mascara, I have super curly lashes, so I usually just grab whatever mascara and call it a day. I kind of used to feel like all mascaras were the same until I bought this one. When I went into Sephora, I didn't think I was going to get a mascara today, that day that I went. Um, but I was looking around and honestly what sold me on this was the packaging, guys. It is metal. This is metal. This feels so good. It's so high quality and it wasn't super expensive. I want to say it was like, was like $15. I don't remember. Everything will be linked down below, of course, but this is a really high, high quality blush or a high quality mascara, but I really did notice a difference. And if you go back to that video, you can see the difference in my lashes as I was applying it. I did put it on today. And it doesn't change the fact that my lashes are curly, but I feel like if I do layers of this, it's really gonna make them look extendo, like very long, but it definitely made them look long to my liking. A product that I just picked up was this Merit Lip Gloss. It's a very lightweight lip gloss. It's definitely something, oh, it's a lip oil, my bad. It's a lip oil, it's very um lightweight. Obviously it's a lip oil. I thought it was a lip gloss at first. But I've been loving it. I have it on today. I did just get this product. But I remember a long time ago, I did a video on some lip products. And one, they had like this really good lip gloss. And they didn't have it. So when I saw it in Sephora, like this brand in Sephora that I went to, I went over there looking for that specific product. But I couldn't find it. So I got this lip oil instead to try it out. And I've been liking it. It has a slight color to it, but it's nothing too strong. Um, you could definitely pair it with a lip liner. I do have a lipstick on over this or underneath this, so yeah. It has a good shine to it, and my lips don't feel dry. And if you know anything about me, I have dry, crusty lips all the time. I say it all the time, like in all of my videos and everything. I don't know what it is, but my lips are always dry. But this has been keeping them moisturized, so that's why I usually don't do like a matte lip just because my lips are always crusty, but yeah, I've been liking this and I'm definitely going to get some more of these lip oils. The last product that I want to talk about is this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Setting Spray. I love this spray. I mean, what is there to say? I feel like everybody uses this spray. It smells good. It's really refreshing. It does keep my makeup on. And it has like a nice glow. When it comes to um, high-end makeup, I do feel like you need to invest in a setting spray because all setting sprays are not the same. And I think most of the time when you go to the drugstore looking for a setting spray here, what you're really looking at is going to be freshening spray, like something you spray in between the layers of your makeup. This product you can use in between the layers of your makeup, but also finish it off at the end. You it Mine is shaking up right now, but it is like a little... Um, it separates. It's like another color. You'll see it separating. You have to shake this up because if you don't shake it up, it's not going to work properly. Also, you need to make sure all of your products are working together. Like you don't want to use a oil-based foundation with a water-based primer. Your products need to be able to work together. Now, I feel like this is a good product that you can use with different things. Now, I usually stick to like water-based products, especially when it comes to my skincare. I try to, but you know, sometimes you just got to get what you got to get. I like trying new things, um, but when it comes to this, I like this. This is a really good one. It leaves my skin feeling do looking dewy and shiny. And if you don't like the shine, you can always, I think they actually have a mattifying one. I haven't tried it though, but you can go in with your finishing powder on top and just lightly set on top. I like the dewy look. I feel like it makes me, me look refreshed and like just 
you know, really good. If you learned something from this video, I really hope that you all try these products that I pointed out to you. And I hope that if you do get them, let me know. If you have any comments, suggestions on products that I need to try, because I really don't know much about these products. Like I literally go to the store and see if I like something and get it. I was never like, oh, this is probably right now. I gotta get it. So if y'all have any recommendations for things that I want to try, that I should try, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.